Liberty. We're here again for another defense of your IBF world title. Um, what's your feelings going into this camp? Uh, I'll say that I'm feeling great because the fight is on. I'm looking forward to it. I'm running hard. I'm getting ready for it. I'll say that I'm ready now because it's two weeks away from the fight now. So I'm ready to defend my title. Okay, and you, you're fighting um, a guy who's a veteran. You're a veteran yourself. How does it how does it play in your mind? It's, 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 it's you guys have been around. It's gonna be a good fight, veteran versus veteran. No, but at the end of the day, I'm the one who's gonna be victorious of this fight. The way I'm working, uh, definitely I'll win. How much have you looked into his background? He's a he's been a former WBC world champion. He defended a few times. Uh, are you expecting this to be a tough fight? Yeah, for sure. Um, every time when I'm going to fight, I expect a, a tough fight. That's why you see me training hard. So I'm looking forward to face him. I know it's going to be a hard fight, but at the end of the day, the one is going to be victorious. And going to Japan now. This is. Now this Japan is almost becoming your home now with all these fights. <laughs> how, how comfortable have you become now? Uh, I would say it, uh, not very really comfortable. Like I'm here in South Africa, you no know, home will always be home. But uh, nothing I can do if, if I get an opportunity I have to make use of it. So I'm going back to Japan. Yeah, for sure. It's not gonna be, it's not gonna be the first time fighting away from me. even this one. I'll I'll win. You spoke about obviously you, at the end of the day you're going to win the fight. He fought guys like Roman Gonzalez, the guy that beat Roman Gonzalez, saw ring on the side. When you look at, have you had a look at those fights and thought there's areas in this guy's game which maybe you can take? I've watched a few of his fights. No, he's very good. He's a good boxer. Yeah, for sure. When you come to this level, you're not going to get an opponent. So I'm looking forward to, to face him. But I've seen his mistakes, so we're going to capitalize on his mistakes. We're we preparing for the strategy that we're going to use in the fight. Would you, would you say, though, uh, as much as he's fought um, good fighters in the mm. past, his last three or four fights, he, maybe they weren't the, tough, weren't the toughest opponents. Would you say your opponents, the, the guys you fought now, were a bit tougher than his opponents? <laughs> That's a tricky question, but I would say no, he fought a good guys, a good boxer, I also, I also fought a good, very good boxer, so I'll, we'll see at the end of the day who's going to win the fight, yeah, but I, 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 I've got confidence that I'm going to win it. As Cyril said earlier, you've been in Japan a lot of times now. Mm -hmm. Japanese boxers, you can't expect a sort of a, a tougher opponent than some of maybe the, some of the other Asian countries. This guy as well, another tough guy. Would you would you expect now to be able to stop him? Pardon? Would you be able to stop this guy? Uh, I will say to all my fights when I prepare for the fight, I prepare for full twelve rounds. If the knockout comes, it's gonna be bonus for me. I'll be happy if I can win by stopping. But if it doesn't come, I will make sure that I score enough points to win the fight. Yeah. And now, um, looking at the scene now, in South Africa, I would well, you are the last legitimate world champion that, that South Africa has. How, what does that say to you? What? How does it? How do you carry that? So I'll continue. Flying the South African flag, so I'm confident. I was born for this, so I'll have to go and do it. Yeah, I feel sorry for what happened to Zulamite uh, last weekend. So it's not a good thing. You win some, you, you win some. So we must be strong and get back to the drawing board. We will come back strong. Yeah. Yagashi, the guy that you're fighting, is going to be looking at you and sort of strategizing and how he's going to beat you. Mm. How do you think he's looking at you right now? Uh, first of all, I would say they always do that. They always look, come with a strategy, how they're going to be played. That didn't work. To him, it's not going to work as well. But I'm sure he's going to start with me properly. He's going to try to try and get my weakest point. But no, I'm ready for him. Okay, and now um, I'm at your year, what, you're 37 years old? Yes, I'm 37 years old. How much longer do you think you can carry on uh, at the top? <laughs> it's very difficult to say that because now I'm still holding the world title. I'm still winning all my fights. I'm still winning, no problem at all. So when the time comes to stop boxing, I'll stop, but I won't say where. Yeah. There's a big debate actually that we all have who's number one in Africa, not South Africa, number one in Africa. And your name comes up in that in, the, in that conversation. I know you just won South African Sportsman of the Year. Yes. But number one boxer in Africa, 
would you would you take the time and say yes? Yeah, yes, for sure. I'm the number one uh, boxer in Africa, the whole of Africa. But I won't talk too much about that. But I know deep in my heart that I'm number one. Yeah. And I've, I've had this conversation with you before in terms of where you rank yourself overall in South Africa as amongst the greats. But now, to be st sticking to Africa, where would you put yourself amongst the greatest African fighters? Ah, there were so many fighters, like but uh, I'm there, I'm there, I'm there. I won't say who's high, who's low, but I'm also among them. Yeah. Okay, so 2020, I mean, not going to look past this opponent, but 2020 is another big year. We spoke about this at the in our in our last interview about you being South African Sportsman of the Year, mm. Durban. I just wanted to get back to that again. Is there a possibility that we can get a fight of your world title there? Uh, yeah, for sure. I've, I've, I've spoke to many people that can make the fight there. They're looking very interested to stage a fight for me. But at this point in time, I'm looking forward to my next fight. I'll talk everything when I come back from Japan. So you never look at, at anything beyond the next fight. No, at the moment, all my mind, everything is looking forward to this upcoming fight. I can't talk with nothing for next day or whatever, but after I win this fight, then we will start to talk about next year. But I do believe that 2020 will bring a unification fight for you. Uh, I don't know against who, but I'm hoping maybe a WBA, WBC or WBA champion gets up and says, I want to fight Maritim Talani. Maybe they see you as old. Maybe they want yeah, to say, yeah, for sure. you know, maybe <laughs> I that's know. it. So many opponents and so many people believe now that no, that one is too old now. But they must come. I'll show them. Yeah, for sure. I'll be happy if I can get a unification fight before I call it a day in boxing. That will I'll be very much happy if I can get that. Speaking of unifications, earlier this year there was Charlie Edwards. He made some noise. Now that's died down. Which one of the champions would you want to? Uh, I won't say anyone that can come fly, uh, at flyweight. No, he can come. He can make a unification for sure. But my dream when I start boxing, I wanted uh, to be a WBC champion. Okay, so that's an official call out to the WBC yeah, champion. champion. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. So, um, yeah. Any last words for me, Brits, before you step in that ring? Mm, as I, I said earlier on, that now is two weeks away from my fight. To all my supporters, to all the people who always help me, I'm looking forward to my next fight. Then I'll always make, I'll make them fight that like I did before. Number one, and still, IPF world champion. Yeah.